don't be no sad. Fuck that best nigga, ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese, real niggas only get down for the bread. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, call the plug, cut me some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. Is the swim team in the building? I said, is the swim team in the building? Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squad! Why you at the face? What's wrong? Why you beating me up? All right, swim team. Um, Today's video is actually going to be different. You know, I was going to basically celebrate with y'all because YouTube changed their monetization policy. And instead of just out right demonetizing people's videos they gave you a choice they asked you what kind of content you had in your videos and they chose ads to put on the videos where the the advertisers didn't care if you cursed if it had some nudity well probably not nudity but you know if you wasn't if you was talking crazy and the advertisers pretty much didn't care about that they'll put those ads on your videos and I thought that was you know that was a step in the right direction even though, for me, I know the reason they're doing it is because of the whole corona stuff. And it's, it's a lot of people home. And, you know, they need more content to keep them entertained or whatever. At the end of the day, it's about them making more money for themselves. But that's what I was going to talk about. But this morning, um, I woke up. I went to brush my teeth. And it felt as though I pulled a nerve or I pulled something. And right now, I'm waiting on Danae to come back home so I can go to the emergency room. It's just, it's crazy, right? It's, it's, it's freaking crazy. Now, what's going on right now, been going on. It just got worse this morning. Like, it got way worse this morning. But this has been going on for, like, probably a month now. It started as, a, like, a dull pain on the right side of my chest. And then it started traveling, like, to my shoulders, up my neck, and down my arm. But, like, it'll go away unless, like, I go to sleep and it'll come back. But since, like, last week, it's just been getting worse. And this morning is at, like, an all-time high. Like, for me right now, I could barely hold my camera. Like, I could barely hold my camera up. So my arm is weak as hell. And, like... If I move, if I yawn, if I sneeze, if I chew, like, my whole, like, right here, I feel it. And then it goes, like, it's like the, the pain just, it goes in, like, a a certain direction. Like, it, it starts here, it goes up here, then it shoots down my arm. And it do that all the time. Like, I just did that right there, and, and like, you know what I'm saying? That messed me up. The reason I wasn't going to the ER is because of everything that's going on right now. And on top of that, for the past, since 2013, I've been, like, back and forth to the emergency room for different things. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it is because I'm, like, a hypochondriac. And I've pretty much given different hospitals in Atlanta probably about $10,000 to $11,000. Like, I've paid a whole bunch of emergency room bills that I didn't need to go to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'll be happy I go to the ER and nothing is wrong with me. But for all the money that they be, I be having to pay them, you know, I wouldn't mind them telling me something wrong with me that I can get over. You feel what I'm saying? Like, because I be paying them bread, bro. I don't know why the emergency room so damn expensive. Like, I really don't get why the, the emergency room so damn expensive, bro. I got the good insurance now, too, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to waste all my, my medical money on my insurance money and go to the ER for them to tell me that ain't nothing wrong with me and give me some bullshit ass printout. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't I just don't like that. And then not, not to mention the whole Corona stuff going on. I don't want to go to the emergency room and somebody sneeze on me. I go in there for some pain, then I come back out with the coronavirus. Like, I just didn't want to. I was trying to avoid all that, bro. But this morning when I woke up, oh, yeah. When I woke up this morning, bro, and I, I brush, from brushing my teeth, bro, 
I didn't even get two or three strokes, and I had just one stroke, boom. And then the toothbrush fell out my arm, and I couldn't pick my arm up. I went, to, I went back in the room. I told Danae, she like, <laughs> the same bath I ran for her, she ran the bath for me, put Epsom salt in it. I was in there for like a good hour. And then like, that still ain't do nothing. So I really don't know what they're going to tell me, bro. Because this time, something is definitely wrong with me. Like before all them other joints, it was hypothetical like the most serious issue I had from going in the emergency room from the past was um I was having headaches and then like my eyelids used to twitch but I think all that came from um just me I used to go out and I used to drink a lot because this was around the time we was promoting our music so we used to go to the club every weekend like at least two days out the weekend so Friday and Saturday we was at the club and I was drinking I was smoking a whole bunch of hookahs and I pretty much wasn't getting that much sleep. And I think that joint took a toll on me. So I went to the emergency room for that. They couldn't tell me what was wrong with me. They just told me I need to calm down and slow down on drinking and all that. And going out. So I slowed down and then it stopped. But this right here, this feel like something. I was looking on Google. And they say that it might be my, um, what you call it? Um... My rotary cuff, like it might, it might, it might be that. That's the closest thing I could see. The other thing I seen was like, you know, you have a heart condition. Sometimes it 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 messes up your shoulder. So I don't know. I do have a little heart issue. I know I have a heart murmur and all that, and that's that's kind of why I couldn't play basketball. Well, basket basketball and among other things, I couldn't do that in high school. I never told nobody this story, bro. The reason, so I used, to, I used to like go to all the freaking practices and all the tries for the basketball team, right? Then, um, senior year was the first time I made like the cut, and then we had to do the medical stuff, right? Now, mind you, I wasn't, you know, what I'm saying I wasn't that good anyway, so I probably wouldn't have made it, but. I got kicked out because me and my boy Nico was play fighting. But I really think I got kicked out was because when I brought back that that uh, medical joint, it had the concern for the heart murmur stuff on it. So I feel as though that's the reason the coach kicked me out. But I don't know. Maybe, you know, he ain't seen no talent. But right now, though, I'm nice. Well, not with my one left arm. <laughs> not with my one left arm, bro. But back in the day, son, a couple months ago, before the Rona hit, I was torturing everybody up. So, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Like, my arm is killing me, son. I don't know what's going on. I ain't scared, you know what I'm saying? If if if, if it's time, it's time, man. If we all got to go sometime. We all got to go sometime, bro. This video is going to be so much different, bro. Because I was going to mark up my little charts for the Forex. Matter of fact, I'm going I'm to make sure this video about 10 minutes, right? You know what I'm saying? Just so I can throw some ads on here. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all how to mark the charts up for Forex. So if you made it to the... I know a lot of people be... Let me turn the lights on. I know a lot of people... Don't make it past five minutes with this video. So if you made made it past five minutes in this video, consider yourself lucky. Because I'ma show you just a little bit how the Forex joint work. I know you can probably see it online with all the other dudes, but you know what I'm saying? You ain't seen what overdose last. Uh let me type my password in. What the fuck? Damn, I can't even type my password in, bro. Alright, so I'm gonna show y'all the screen. I already got the screen up for where I wanna go. So these are the pairs that I'm trading. Uh these are the pairs. This is the pair I was trading on Friday. So this is Euro USD. This site right here is called Trading View, okay? 
Now, if you just beginning, you're going to need to go to Baby Pips so you can learn. But trading views is where I go when I want to do all my little mock-ups of the chart and all that. Alright, so the way I trade is something called stop is a uh, resistance and support. So support and resistance. What is support? Support is pretty much like the market right now is kind of in a downtrend, right? Support is when the market comes down and like you see how right here the price goes back up a little bit before it comes back down right here. This is support. Resistance is when it goes up and it, it hits some resistance and it'll go no uh the camera had died just now. So I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen, okay? So this right here is for the next cut the next week. The market gonna start up today, but this is for the next week right here. I don't know if y'all can see the mouse. So there's one or two things that could happen. Is either the price is gonna cause it hit resistance right here and it could go back down. And if it go back down, that means that I'm going to catch it and I'm going to sell. And that is, how much pips? That's about, that's about 52 pips. Now, 52 pips, right? Depending on your lot size, that could be anywhere from, depending on what lot size you use. That could be about $60. That could be fifty two dollars, I mean. Or that could be um that could be some money, bro. If you use a big lot size, that could be about two hundred, two hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. It it just depends on your lot size. So we're gonna see, man. Um the account I'm trying to I'm trying to the account I got right now, I'm trying to basically take a hundred and fifty dollars and turn it into a thousand dollars. And then I'm actually going to use the stimulus check that Trump is going to send. And I'm going to turn that into 5000 10000 depending on how good everything is. So if you made it to this part of the video, I hope you, like, you know, you learned something. And if you want to learn how to trade Forex, just go to babypips.com. And they have a full, like, course. They start you from, like, kindergarten all the way up to, like, college graduate school whatever all right and i'm gonna probably i'm probably gonna do another video later on tonight i'm gonna vlog when i go to the emergency room i'm just waiting on Danae right now because she's at the um she's at the grocery store squad don't be no sad fuck that best nigga ain't for the head y'all rats up cheese real niggas only get down for the bread yeah let him sleep, yeah, let him sleep, yeah Call it plug, cut me some bar for the week Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas